King Charles yesterday turned 75. How's he going down with the public? Have they warmed him 40 months after he became their king? A couple of things happened recently that show Charles's softer side. We had Remembrance Sunday. He was very emotional, visibly emotional, at the Cenotaph Memorial just behind that building you can see behind me there. Also, he unveiled a statue to our late queen, his mother, recently, and, and the tears were kind of coming down his face. He is actually showing that he is a lot more emotional than his mother, which people quite like, and I think that will excuse the odd little temper tantrum we might get out of our king. Of course, he is going down very, very well with the public. The, 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 the kind of wide conception is that he's, he's got off to a great start, as King Charles. 75 yesterday, was sung happy birthday at a food waste processing plant. Nothing screams happy birthday king, like having to attend a recycling centre on your birthday, does it, you know? <laughs> I have to say, look, I've only met him once and very, very briefly. He seems a nice guy with a great sense of humour. I don't like his global warming preaching, but I have to, have to admit yeah. that while he said more than he should of his king, he has sort of kept the lid on it to a, a large extent. How would you rate all that? Yeah, he's a bit of a conundrum, OK? Don't agree with him on the net zero stuff. I think he's getting terrible advice when it comes to Commonwealth countries, apologising left, right and centre. I think you and I both oh, know how that. that ends, and it's not pretty. And it's not pretty, mm -hmm. right? But he's wandering into that. Whether that's him or his advisers, I don't know, but that's bad. But just on a personal level, he's doing all right. He's working hard. He's out and about all the time. He's a visible presence. He's going out and doing Britain's bidding in countries like France and Germany and coming across quite well there. So fair play to him, you know, he has had a long time to practice. Of course, as well, he doesn't seem to be caving into Prince Harry, so and that's uh, that's quite a good thing, I think, as far as we're concerned as well. He's no more olive branches for Harry. So true. Patrick Chris, it's always great to talk to you. Talk to you next week. Thank you.